Hey guys, it's SM. Welcome or welcome back. All right, all right. It's time for my PS4 collection for 2024. As you can see, it's uh, <laughs> quite a quite a lot of games here. So uh, let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into it. Start out with the Assassin's Creed collection. Let's see, we have Assassin's Creed Syndicate, which I thought was all right. We have Assassin's Creed Origins, which is probably my favorite one. Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I thought was pretty good. And then I had to pick up I picked up the SEO collection a, a long time ago. Yeah, I, I definitely had to get that. And then we have Batman Arkham Knight, which, you know what? I, I kind of go back and forth between which is my favorite one, you know, Batman Arkham City or Batman Arkham Knight, because I really enjoyed Arkham Knight. I probably choose City, but I mean, yeah. Crazy how this game, that game was almost a decade old. It's crazy. We have Battlefield 1. Battlefield 4, which I loved. Really short campaign, but I, I thought it was great. Battlefield Hardline, which I also enjoyed. Battlefield 5. <laughs> Got Bioshock, which is a classic in my opinion. I had to get to pick up the collection. I still haven't played Bioshock 2 yet, but I love the first one in, in, in Infinite. Yeah. And then we have Bloodborne, Borderlands. Let's see, this is the handsome. No, this is the first one. Okay. Yeah, this is game of the year edition and then I have the handsome the handsome collection and then I got Borderlands 3 which I loved can I wait for Borderlands 4 see crash nitro fueled that's crash team racing yeah Call of Duty Ghosts Call of Duty Black Ops 3 the zombie chronicles edition I'm glad I picked that up we got Control, a game that I've actually started back playing, and I actually I actually like it a lot, actually. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, no, get in there. All right. We have Code Vein. Then we have Darksiders 3, Days Gone, Dead or Alive 6, which I'm kind of... Oh, here we go. Yeah, wrong one. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if they're going to make a new Dead or Alive. I mean, I actually kind of like this one. <laughs> um, the last one was way better, but, you know, I... I wouldn't mind playing Dead or Alive again. Let's see, we have Dishonored 2, which I loved. I think this is probably my favorite one out of the three. It was frustrating, but it was fun. <laughs> Let's see, we have Doom for the VR, which was all right. We have Far Cry New Dawn, Far Cry 5, which I loved. The Firewall Zero Hour, that's a PSVR game. Then we have Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, this game is pretty solid, though. I haven't really put a lot of hours into it, but it's really good from what I played. Let's see, we have Ghost of Tsushima, which is probably a classic in my opinion. Um, I, I haven't picked up the director's cut yet, but I need to. And then we have Grand Theft Auto V for the PS5, one of my favorites of all time. Let's see, we have God of War. This is the OG from 2018. Love this game. Let's see, we got Horizon. This is Zero Dawn, the complete edition. Yep, one of my favorites. A game that I have no idea why they stopped. <laughs> they completely just stopped making. But Kills on Shadowfall. This was the last game we got. And it's a decade old. And I have no idea why they stopped making games um, in this franchise. But it was a pretty good game. Nonetheless. Got Kingdom Hearts. Mafia 3. Which I, I always liked Mafia 3. It was definitely the weakest one out of the trilogy. But I thought it was pretty solid. We got Mass Effect The Legendary Edition. I am a kind of a Mass Effect fan. I played all three of them, all four of them, and I've only really beaten the first one. I need to go back and, and play two and three. And Andromeda. And speak of the devil, we got Andromeda. I never really understood the hate for this game, to be honest. I thought it was pretty good. It's my opinion. Let's see, we got Metal Gear Solid 5, and then we have Metro Exodus, which I also enjoyed. And then coming down to the second shelf, we have Mirror's Edge Catalyst, which I enjoyed. Mortal Kombat X, which I loved. Mortal Kombat 11, which I didn't love as much as X, but I thought was pretty good. All-Star Brawl, which is a fun game. Nier Automata. Oh, snap. <laughs> oh, epic fail. There we go. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this game. The story was great. The music was slamming. <laughs> this is a fun game. Let's see. We got Overwatch. Eh, I, I always liked Overwatch, personally. The Outer Worlds, man, listen, I would love a sequel to this game, man. I really had a great time with this game. Let's see, we got Prey, which is extremely underrated. 
Red Dead Redemption 2, which I enjoyed. Rage 2, which was also a great game. Red Faction Guerrilla. Man. Oh. God, these games are hard to take out. <laughs> yeah, Red Faction Guerrilla, man. I love this game. It's a classic. Had to pick up the remastered edition. You got some Resident Evil games. You got Resident Evil Revelations, which is a classic. You got Resident Evil Revelations 2. Resident Evil 2, which is also a classic. This is the remake of the OG Resident Evil 2. Then we have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, which is actually the first like game that really got, kind of got me into the franchise. I just wasn't really a fan of this franchise until I played this one, and I'm glad I did. One of the newest entries in my collection, a game that I am glad I picked up, <laughs> Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. It's a darn good game, boy. <laughs> Very good game. Oh, snap. Sims 4, <laughs> Marvel Spider-Man. I remember when this game came out, man, everybody went crazy, including me. I even pre-ordered this game. Fantastic. Then we have Sniper Contracts, Soul Calibur 6. This is another one I kind of wish that they'd make another entry in because I love Soul Calibur. I loved 5 and 6. And then we got SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, a classic. I was playing that a couple weeks ago on my channel. Then we have Strange Brigade. Now this game is actually underrated. I actually think this game is pretty fun. It's probably dead right now, but I had some pretty good memories with this game. Oh, yeah. We have Star Wars Squadron, that's a VR game. Star Wars Battlefront 2. You know, I love Battlefront 2. <laughs> Tekken 7, yep. Uh, one of my favorite fighting games ever. It was my favorite until Tekken 8 came out. <laughs> Yeah, man, I love Tekken 7. Oh. Then we have Tales from the Borderlands, a really good game. The Last of Us Remastered, classic game. If you have a PS4, you probably had this game already. Let's see, we got Titanfall 2, which is a great game. I really don't know, well, I do know, but I, I wish we had gotten a Titanfall 3. Would have loved that. We got The Division 2, Rainbow Six Siege, which is a really good game. The Evil Within, boy. This is probably my favorite horror game ever. Yeah, I said it. It's probably my favorite one. <laughs> I, I mean, this game, frustrating, but I loved it. I even loved The Evil Within 2. I would have loved an Evil Within 3. We might still get one one day. Who knows? Wouldn't hold my breath on it, though. We have the Uncharted franchise. Let's see, the Nathan Drake Collection. I mean, every PlayStation owner should have this game. <laughs> Let's see, we have Uncharted 4, which is my favorite one-up series. And then The Lost Legacy, which is the, oh, there we go. The last game that, you know, Naughty Dog blesses with, but I think the series ended on a, on a pretty high note, in my opinion. And then we have UFC 2, which I think is the best one out of the series. And then UFC 4, which is the worst one. <laughs> and then we have Wolfenstein, the new, oh, don't fall over, Sly. <laughs> then we have Wolfenstein The New Order, which was a really good game. I actually got into this series kind of late. I played this game back in 2018, and I thought it was pretty, thought it was really good. And then, oh no, Sly was getting in the way for some strange reason. <laughs> Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus. I actually really do like this game. I never finished it, though. I, I think just because one day I just stopped playing it and then just did not return to it. <laughs> but I, I, I most likely will return to it someday and finish it. I also have the Shadow of the Tomb Raider flashlight that I got when I pre-ordered Shadow of the Tomb Raider several years ago. All right, so we have, let's see. Ooh, man. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, man. This was the last, really, this was honestly the last Call of Duty game that I truly loved on all fronts. Campaign, multiplayer, zombies, and survival. And this game is a decade old, man. I don't know, man. Just no Call of Duty after the Advanced Warfare just did it for me, at least on that level, you know. But, I mean, I love Advanced Warfare. Picked up the Atlas Pro Edition at that. Let's see, we have Watch Dogs 2, which I think was even better than the first game, hands down. And then we have We Happy Few. This game is strange. <laughs> it's really weird. I will have to do a playthrough of this game sometime in the future on my channel. But it has, it has a... I can't really explain it to be honest. This game is just weird. <laughs> All right, let's see. We have Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale version. I love Telltale. Had to pick it up. Then we have 
Injustice 2. I had to pick up that steel book, Love Injustice 2. All right, and then we have some Tomb Raider games. Let's see, we have Tomb Raider, which came out in 2013, I believe. Classic game. And then we have Rise of the Tomb Raider, which some people say is even better than the first one. Honestly, I love them all, honestly, but yeah, this one was really a darn good one. And last, we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which was not my favorite, but it was a really good game. And that is pretty much my PS4 collection for 2024, man. It is growing, boy. Almost 100 games. Almost. Not there yet, but almost. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, hit that like button for your man. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. SM Gaming, and I'm out. Peace.